It looks like a pharmaceutical lab, and in a sense, it is. Swiss engineers perfecting the dose of caffeine in your morning cup of Starbucks. Thermoplan's goal? Allow untrained baristas to concoct your favorite milky coffee with the press of a button, even if they grew up drinking tea. All these machines are destined for China. The idea is to get them hooked on foamy, frothy drinks. But first, they need to be tested some 100 times. Let's give it a go. If you want to predict how quickly Starbucks will grow in Asia, you may want to put this company in a small Swiss village where they make all of Starbucks cappuccino machines under surveillance. 17 years ago, at Thermoplan, we were 20 employees. And Starbucks at that time were 20,000 employees. Right now we are 220, and Starbucks is more than 200,000, so growing together. Wages are high in Switzerland, but the workers are skilled. There's Swiss efficiency on the assembly line. I'm clearly not qualified to use this, but if I could. There may be one limit to thermoplans and Starbucks growth in China funny tummies. There is Lactose intolerance, yes, that's right, but the, the growth of the coffee industry is proving that they like to drink this milk-based beverage for Starbucks and, of course, other customers. They need Swiss milk. They need Swiss milk, yes. Yeah. <laughs>